there, it's Mrs Keane and I've got another maths lesson for you. Today we're going to be looking at solving um, some problems later on in the lesson, um, but I'm going to show you how to subtract a three-digit number from another three-digit number. So what you're going to need is a pencil or a pen, some paper, and maybe a quiet space where you can focus and concentrate. But let's get our brains working. So I've got a little starter for you. So, on your paper, I'd like you to write these multiplication sentences. 2 times 4, 3 times 5, 6 times 5 and so on. And I'd like you to pause the video and work these out. Well done, I hope you did that and I'm sure you've been practicing your times tables, listening to the reggae two times table song, listening to the eight times table with Adele's song and let's check how much you've been practicing. So check your answers, tick or correct. Well done, we're ready, well done, we're ready to move on. Okay, so how do we solve um, such large numbers when we're subtracting? So some of you can already probably hear you talking to the screen. Yes, we're going to be using a column method. So, I'm going to show you over on the clipboard how to take away. So get your pen and pencils ready. And I'm going to use that first one to have a go together. So I have 834 take away 654. Okay, so we're going to be thinking and looking at those hundreds, those tens and those ones. 4 take away 4, fairly straightforward that's zero. Three take away five. We can't do that because that's too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a ten from the hundred. So we're going to, and I'm going to use another coloured pen so that you can see this. We're going to cross that eight out. Now, because we're borrowing a hundred in effect, um, that now becomes seven hundred. And this now... This now, in effect, becomes 134, but we're just going to look at it as 13 tens, okay? So if we just look at that as 13, you know it's under the tens, take away 5, so you could keep the 5 in your head and count up, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and that gives us 8. So 8 tens, you know that's 80. Now this is now 700, but we're just looking at it as 7 because we know that's in the 100 column. 7 take away 6 is 1, and the answer is 180. I've showed you that example. Get your pen and pencil ready because we're going to have a go. And there you are, I'd like you to pause your video in a moment. The first one we've worked on together, there's another example there showing you how to do that. So I'd like you to pause and I'd like you to work on these together. If you're not sure, I'd like you to lay it out like so. So I'm going to try and show you this so you can see both the board because I know that is what you're used to seeing in our big maths lesson, but here is how you should be um, laying it out. So pause the film, write these out and work them out, and then I want you to come back and we're going to check your answers. Well done. So let's have a look together. I'm not going to work that first one out because that's the example I took from the whiteboard. So if you've got 180 there, you are right. Well done. That's the answer there. 
Let's have a look at number two. 245 take away 154. Five take away four, I can do that, that's one. Four take away five, five's too big, so I need to borrow. I'm going to borrow from that hundred. This becomes one, and I'm going to borrow that over there. So now this is my 14 tens. If I look at it just as 14, take away five, that's nine. One take away one is nothing, is zero. So you may write that zero there. I'm going to not write it. And the answer for that is 91. Well done if you got that one right. 987 take away 756. 7 take away 6, that's fairly straightforward. There's a 1. 8 take away 5 is 3. 9 take away 7 is 2. No borrowing there. 563 take away 432. 3 take away 2 is 1, 6 take away 3 is 3, 5 take away 4 is 1. No borrowing there. I'm going to work on this last one with us and then I'm going to ask you to send in your answers to your teacher. So if we just look at that. I know it's a lot of numbers there, so I don't want you to be able to see them all. Okay, two take away three. We can't do that because that's larger. So we need to borrow. This becomes two, and we've borrowed that ten. Twelve, twelve take away three is nine. Two take away, sorry, four. Two take away four, we can't do that because that's too small. Let's borrow. And now this becomes twelve. 12 take away 4 is 8, 6 take away 5 is 189, and I hope you've got that answer, well done if you have, um, have another go if you haven't, um, and what I'd like you to do is carry on with the 6 and 7, and I'd like you to send in those answers to your um, teachers. The reason I'm doing this is that I know some people might maybe fast forward and get to the answers and I'd just like you to have that conversation maybe with an adult, are these correct, where did I go wrong? Because that's when your mind starts thinking mathematically. Okay, I don't need the um, flip chart anymore, just going to move that over there and see what else. Okay, I'm going to very quickly show you how you can generate your own 3D digits to be able to work on some of these at home. At school we'd normally use our dice, but um, I'm going to show you how you can make up some numbers using paper. Get these. If you could get three pieces of blank paper, um, squared paper, even if there's got something on the other side, as long as you have one side that's blank, some, um, a pencil and some scissors. So pause and go and get that and come back so that I can show you how you can generate your own numbers. Okay, welcome back. I'm just going to use um, some squared paper. And actually I'm going to show you here. So what you're going to do with your paper, and I've got three sheets here. You're going to fold them, if you like, horizontally first. To match the corners so that they're equal. Fold in half again, if you can see that. And then you're going to fold in half again. And this will almost create a template so that you know where to cut and you should have one two three four five six seven eight so you may not have all the digits there you might have to cut a couple and a half again so let's make sure you can see that with your scissors you're going to cut through the middle up the sides you're basically creating some cards there's my 100, 200, 300, 400, and you're going to do this 
until you come up to 900, uh, 900, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. Then you're going to do the same, but this time um, 10. You're going to create your tens column. So, oh, actually, and if you wanted, you could. So, if I just turn it around, turn that into a different colour. Twenty. Hope you can see those. I've got my hundreds there, my tens there. Thirty. I'm being really quick so that I can show you. You would take your time. Fifty. 60, 70, 80, 90. I've got my 100 there. Now, with these, with my next lot, because I knew I wasn't going to have enough, so I'm going to cut them in half again. And now I'm just going to go one, just basically all the ones two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Get rid of any extra, you won't need those. And there you've got your three, I'm just going to move things so you can see them. Three lots of cards. And this is how you're going to generate your own. Um, your own numbers. If you had time, what you could do as an extra um, is you could write the number on the back in Word. So you had it in both words and numbers. And then what I'd like you to do is let's turn these upside down. You could shuffle them, take one. So the first number we're making is. 331, 331, take away, right, I'm going to take one from the bottom, you would reshuffle these, um, I can say this is a larger number, so I'm going to write it at the top, 674. And there you go, you could generate your own three-digit numbers. I mean, if you're in year two and you're watching this, you could just do tens and ones. Even in reception um, and year one, you can just do up to single-digit numbers to start with and then add maybe 10 and 20, and you can work it out. Well done, you can put everything that you needed away so that I can set you on your next task. So. Um, oh, hello Mrs. Oh, Kay. hello Miss Copper. Thank you for getting me that book. How much money do I need to give you for it? Oh, it was £3.67. Oh. Have you got the money there? I haven't got the exact amount. I have £3.85. £3.85. Oh, I do have some change. Maybe you can help me work it out. Book was £3.67p. And Miss Copper has paid how much has she given me? Two three pounds fifty sixty seventy eighty five and she has paid three pounds eighty five P. How much change? Do I need to give her? Okay, I'm going to need your help now. I'm going to move that money aside. So I'm going to start with the amount she's given me. And I'm going to write the amount the book costs. Um, seven take away from five. Well, I can't do that. I'm going to need to borrow. That becomes 15. 
and that is now 7. Dean take away 7 is 8. Now I've got 7 take away 6 is 1. 3 take away 3 is 0. So it's just 18p. Let me see if I've got 18p here. Um, I've got 10. Oh, and this money is now mine too that she's given me. Okay, so I've got 10, 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, that's right. Miss Copper, I've got your change here. There you go, 18p change. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so I've showed you that. And what I'd like you to do here is I've got some problems for you. Some problems that have three digits in them, two digits, and you need to think about what are you going to do. And the way that I tackle um, a word problem is I look at the numbers. If I can, I circle them. So I know that those are the numbers I'm going to work with. And what is it asking me? Is it asking me something, how many are left? Or how many all together? Am I taking away? Or am I adding? See whether you're subtracting or adding up. So what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and work on your problems. And then I'd like you to email your, problem, your answers to your teachers. So number one with the answer. It would be amazing if you could work it out and maybe take a photo of it if you worked it out showing us your actual workings, something like that. That would be really good because I will understand, will know that you've actually understood what you're doing. So pause and work on those. Well, well done. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this and we look forward to seeing your work. Bye-bye for now.